Hello once again, this is Bill Hayhurst from TelQuest Tech Support. Today we're talking about the IP Office Essential Edition, Release 7.0. This is an enhancement, call, park, and unpark, creating new buttons and new short codes. If you operate the IP Office Essential Edition as a PBX and not a key system, you will most likely not have direct CO line appearances on all your telephones. Incoming calls can be transferred to different extensions or parked. If you need to use the park method, you will find it easier to distribute calls by creating a few park buttons on the receptionist telephone, and we do cover that in our other video. When an incoming call is parked, it's given a parking space number. Then any extension in the IP office can dial a parked call pickup number and retrieve the call. Here is the typical operation using the standard or default short code. The receptionist answers an incoming call. She presses one of the vacant park buttons. Now when a call is parked, the receptionist park button gives her a visual indication of its activity. She then announces by the paging system or some other method that a call is parked in a specific spot. An example of a page would be, Jim, you have a call parked on 123. Jim can then go to any telephone in the system, press the intercom button, raise the handset, and dial star 38 star 123 pound to pick up the call. Now once again, I'll point out that the star 38 star short code is the default one. All right, now we're going to modify the unpark code and make it a whole lot easier, especially for the end user. Now, the first thing we're going to do is double click on the current code, which is right here. And it brings it up right over here. We can see the code that's dialed is star 38 star capital N and a pound. What that translates to is the user dials star 38 star some number of some length which would be the page, pardon me, which would be the unpark code or the call pickup code followed by a pound symbol. Well, that's a lot to remember. Let me show you how we can make that a whole lot easier. We just go up here, click on this, change this to a five, and then put in three capital X's. All right, what that means now is the pickup code will be five followed by three digits. So the receptionist would make an announcement. If the call was parked on park 123, she would make an announcement. Jim, you have a call parked on 5123. She actually will broadcast over the paging system the code that the person should dial. Or something like new car sales, dial 5123. Of course, you can change that. You could make it two digits, or you, you could use a different digit other than five. Just be careful you don't cross yourself up with some of your other short codes. All right, that concludes this lesson on call, park, and unpark, creating buttons, and new short codes. I hope you enjoyed it, and even more so, I hope you can use it. If you have any questions or you'd like to see some changes made, give your TelQuest salesperson a call. Once again, we're always ready to make changes. This is Bill Hayhurst for TelQuest Tech Support. Thanks for watching this video.